Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and today I'm going to be doing a psychic reading on Ariana Grande. Actually, this is actually me revisiting the reading that I've done for her, that I did on her maybe about two years ago. Now, interestingly enough, um, if you are not following the celeb, you know, news, whatnot, um, she recently became engaged um, to a real estate agent. I believe his name is Dalton Gomez, I believe. But um, maybe I got that wrong on the on the name part. But I believe that that's the, the name here. Now, I when I did my 2021 celebrity predictions, because I do do those, um, I do them for the world, uh, world predictions and celebrity predictions. In it, I said, I see her thinking of motherhood and her love life. She is reflecting more about life and she does feel lonely. I see her going through a big image shift. And I also feel like her um, her staying power or star power will slowly diminish in some ways as new talent takes her place. Um, now, I want to be clear because I am an Ariana Grande fan. Obviously, she collaborated with Mariah Carey, but there's always similarities and I am a big fan of her. So um, I don't mean that in a negative way. So any Arianators that want to come towards me or come for me in the comments, don't try it because I am a big fan of her music. I love her latest album um, 100 percent. But um I do feel like for her, ultimately, she um, is going to have to like really prove herself. So even though I said that, I kind of feel like she still is going to be relevant. But I mean, like, you know, it happens to the great, great singers as time progresses. There's younger girls, younger people that, um, you know, that they try to market more than her. So I, it's not to talk about her talent, that she's not talented or that she's not going to have staying power because of her singing capability. Obviously, she's very unique in her way of, you know, singing and her style. It's very similar to Mariah Carey, you know, but with her own elements and staying true to herself. So um, she has created a name for herself, essentially. Um, in many ways, you know, people see her as the next girl, the, the girl next door. So, um, you know, she went through that shooting that happened, I believe, at one of her concerts in Manchester. I believe it was Manchester. She's, you know, experienced the loss of an ex-love, which was Mac, Mac Miller. And, you know, there's just been progressively a lot of things that she's gone through in her life. It has made her stronger, but it, there's also this vulnerability to her. So when I get into her energy, what a lot of people want to know, they want to know in particular, like, what is coming up for her in 2021 and moving forward? So I see her being very outspoken. I don't see her like the um, the good girl anymore. Like, um, you know, that and I don't mean that again to be misinterpreted. I just mean that I feel like for her, she considers herself, you know, a bad girl um, and maybe not in that that respect, but she considers herself a little bit more outspoken and um, definitely is not you know, as innocent as when she first began and came into the industry, um, the music industry itself. But um, I do feel like she's very protective of her loved ones. She is very um, emotionally connected to, you know, the people in the industry. And I do feel like she's invested in, you know, projecting an image or trying to make others happy. That's that's like who she is. She's a giver in many ways. And so um, it's not easy being in the spotlight, being her. But I kind of feel like she's grappling with, you know, losing who she was in the beginning um, and now transforming into this butterfly um, where she, some people may perceive her as the B word, right? But Again, she's not trying to be that, but I feel like life has handed her a lot of lemons. And so now she has to make the most of that, you know, and and change the whole situation to be stronger, to not be taken advantage of and to hold her own. So that's kind of like what I see with her. And this is the, the period that I see the most. I do feel like, though, on a deep level, she still grapples with anxiety, depression. These are things that I feel. I feel like a lot of people look at her, they look at her Instagram posts, she's very sweet, she's very, you know, put together, they see her with makeup and her hair done, but they don't really see the girl behind the mirror, behind the screen, and I feel like for her, um, that is, is exactly what Spirit is saying, it's almost like she's carrying a lot of, um, in some ways she's carrying some regrets, she's also carrying some... I want to say I feel like she's carrying some some burdens that she um, is holding on to. It's very heavy. Uh, it feels almost like she wants to 
um, move forward, but she still feels a little trapped. So I feel like 2020, like I said, I wrote a blog earlier today, Confessions of a Psychic Medium, and I actually um, went into there and how I view 2020 and the perspective from that in my blog. And I feel like she also is looking at 2020. It was a horrible year for many people. Um, it was a year of, of a reckoning and having you know, looking at, at life from different angles and a lot of their career of these artists and celebrities came to a halt. Because again, if there is closures and, and where they, they're living, they can't do certain things. Um, interestingly enough, there is a move this winter, possibly even up until next winter. So I don't know if she is traveling a lot again she like she started traveling again or she's planning a move from the house that she lives in now to a different location but there is this transition or this move that i feel like is going to happen now when it gets into the relationship with dalton i think that's what everybody wants to know that's listening to this they want to know the tea they want to know what ray ray sees as far as her relationship with dalton um let me pull up a, a picture of dalton um here on my phone so i can kind of look at his energy because it's very different you know, um, seeing, you know, just her image here. Okay. The first thing that I get from him, he's not a bad kid. And I call him a kid because I feel like he's very young at heart. I do feel like he's ultimately a good, um, good energy for her as a friend. Now, as far as like romance and this developing further, I just don't see the connection here. I feel like they could be best friends. And, and I think that he, you know, could be, everything that she would want in a man but I also feel like he's lacking some of the the strength that she is also used to so for her there's going to be questions in this relationship and there's going to be some some doubt as we get closer to her wedding if she does go through um, and marry and marries um, her fiance again Dalton Gomez uh, I think I said his name right Dalton Gomez so um you know, it's going to be very interesting how this all plays out. But I kind of feel like they are meant to be connected in some way. I definitely feel like there's a soul bond. I feel like he's very um, good for her compared to the guys that she's been with in the past. Not that they've been bad or to talk crap about them. But what I actually see, which is very interesting, which I don't know if she listens to this reading at all, if it's going to make sense to her at all either, because a lot of my stuff is precognitive, meaning that my gift works that I see a lot of things that are future oriented. Am I a fortune teller? No. But my gift works where I see certain visions and things that are coming up for her. I actually see two different men. Um, one would be Dalton, but I see another person as well. And I feel like this other person uh, is less focused on the money because I feel like Dalton is, you know, working very, very hard uh, into establishing a, his career as a real estate agent or taking it to the next level. But it's not all of his ambitions or things that he wants to do. There are other things that he wants to gravitate towards. However, I do get that. Um, so as I said, I see another guy interested in her. I actually feel like there's a lot of questions here. Uh, I feel like at some point Dalton could end up getting heartbroken, right? From this, it wouldn't be Ariana. It would be him that gets heartbroken because I feel like, um, excuse me, <laughs> I feel like she is, is going to come to a reckoning and question everything. Um, and if you are familiar with celeb life, like there is a lot of temptation, there is a lot of parties and things. Once COVID lifts, because it's, this is not going to go on forever, even though Rona will probably exist forever. Um, you know what I mean? Things start going back to normal. A lot of these cities and states start opening up again, um, which they will. Um, it, it kind of feels like she's going to be put into this um kind of um, spotlight again and I feel like in some ways that there may be two guys that are kind of communicating at the same time knowing that she is in a relationship that she is in a committed relationship and that she has um, ultimate some feelings you know some um, concrete feelings for Dalton there is going to be questions that do arise because I feel like Dalton can be very connected to his emotions he can be very funny he can make her laugh and make her feel loved but there's this part of her that is damaged and the, it, and I feel like she's aware of this and I don't mean it in a bad way because I'm damaged everybody has damage in some way um, that we're you know trying to heal from or past trauma or anything that's a fear that we hold on to but I feel like for her, 
she still has some healing. I feel like she's kind of bounced from relationship to relationship to relationship. So if I was her spiritual advisor, what I would tell her is like, girl, settle down for a moment. Don't rush this. Schedule the wedding way out, you know, four years or two years from now, because things can change in a week in a day and even in a year. And it's not the same. I kind of feel like she's jumping. And I kind of feel like a lot of people, um, you know, that that love her ultimately as her best friends are very supportive. But I feel like there's very little people that are really saying, you know, um, stop, like, you know, slow it down, take it down a notch and just give it some time. Um, I feel like for her, it's very important, though, because I feel like she is getting lonely. I do feel like she wants to be a mother. I do feel like motherhood is something that could happen potentially within the next three years or less from this reading. Um, I feel like she is in that mindset to at least become a mom. But I feel like her career, there's a lot of pressures and people in the industry, th these powerful men that are telling her, you know, you need to focus on on music, you need to focus on making new music and kind of like, um, she doesn't call the shots at this point. She's not at the point like Mariah Carey or other people that have been in the industry, these artists, and they're like, you know, I've been here. You need me more than I need you. Uh, even though she is definitely in those ranks and she is kind of like, you know, um, getting to that point and making uh, um, some, you know, some good um having some good success in that area for herself. I still feel like there are some, some there's some resistance coming from either management or maybe her own family that you know they're kind of telling her are you sure is this is what you want because she has bounced like I said from relationship to relationship or situationship whatever it is but I feel like there's a lot more that the public really doesn't know that she doesn't talk about about who she is and the the actual um, gravity of her own mind, her mental health, and not just her mental health, but the other things that she is battling. I feel like for the most part, she is transparent with her fans, but there are, there are other things that she doesn't share, things that she gravitates towards that are, I would call, coping mechanisms, right? Um, some of these may not be considered healthy to a lot of people, but it's a way for her to escape her reality or get out of that mindset of, you know, the, in that moment when she's feeling kind of depressed um, in so, so many ways. Um, I feel like there is drama that comes up around her, um, possibly in 2021. There's going to be headlines. She's going to feel judged or attacked um, if she gains weight. So I feel like, again, her image is very important for her. She is trying to evolve, but the record industry is trying to still keep her as this 21 year old teeny bopper kind of you know good girl image and she's wanting to evolve she's trying to get rid of the ponytail because she's done that look for so long she's trying to cut her hair but they're like no don't do that or you know this is not the image that we want for you again when I mean, I'm not in the industry, but I have friends that are in the industry, celebrity friends and people that, um, you know, I've I've heard the stories. I believe them in the fact that they have a lot of people always constantly criticizing you. You need to be a size zero. You need to lose weight. You need to look this way. This is your bad side. This is your good side. Um, you know, you have people coming all the way to you. So for her, that's kind of created a lot of um, I don't want to say dysmorphia, but it's created this uh, unrealistic expectation expectations in her mind and pressure to keep up, you know, and stay up to par with these, these new younger, you know, girls that are coming out and all this other talent when I, I think that, you know, she has to come to a point which she will as she's growing and, and as she, if she does get married, like um, she wants to, I do feel like she's going to get into that womanhood, which she's already a, a woman, but I mean, like she's going to grow to that point where she's going to be able to say no for her. I don't feel like it's easy to say no. Uh, it is something that is kind of difficult because she doesn't want to hurt people's feelings. But at the same time, you know, she's subjected to uh, being kind of like taken advantage of by the industry. So I see her kind of potentially walking away from something temporarily. I don't know if this is music or it's temporary, like she becomes pregnant and she gives birth to a child, but there's this like departure and, the, but it's temporary. And I see another stronger male coming in. This could be like a father figure for her, or it could be somebody else that is almost like, you know, could be her father in the industry that kind of has a talk with her. Um, and see, you know, and tries to get her to, um, to come back and, and, you know, keep doing music. So I feel like a part of her is not tired of singing, is not tired of being the performer. But I also feel like I said, I feel like there is this part of her that it feels trapped, um, in a situation. And so, 
even though she collabs with all these people, you know, these these celebrities that are well established, even though she has friends and connections in Hollywood or, you know, in New York, wherever, um, it's almost like she's being pulled in too many directions. And so she's going to have to ask herself in her career where she wants to go. I do feel like there's some good news centered around some of her friends. Somebody's going to become pregnant or have some type of um, anniversary celebration. There's a party that she's going to be having. Um, and I feel like this could potentially be in March of 2021. I don't know what this is, but I feel like around March 2021, there is some good news that comes up for her. Um, and, and it's very, fairly, fairly soon. I also feel like she needs to realize that she's very magnetic. She's going to draw a lot of people in and some of these people are very draining and want to throw their problems on her. She's going to have to set the bar and be like, nope, I'm not dealing with this, not today. And kind of it's going to be painful, but I feel like a lot of these are people that are kind of like moochers. They are people that are energy vampires that are her friends that are not necessarily good for her and um, are just lowering her energy. And she's pretty intuitive. And like I said, as she gets older, she's going to um, realize this and it's going to be a big shift. I do feel like she will be starring in a movie of some sort. So there could be a movie role that she is taking part a part of. Um, or going back to, to, to acting in some way. But there is some big changes over the next five years for her. Um, and I feel like they're positive changes. But I also feel it does not come without its own roller coaster ride. So again, it's going to be very interesting how all of this plays out. But this is what I see and I hear for Ariana Grande. I want to thank all of my rays of light for suggesting this reading. Um, and if you have any other celebrities you want me to read, keep commenting in the comment section below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the video as well as clicking the um, notification bell icon and turning it um, to on to all because you want to be notified of all notifications live when I go live on YouTube etc all right guys also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at psychic medium ray um, and many blessings and love and light I hope you have a happy new year